Welcome to a new video. In this video, we will explain six very effective methods to fix the error message. Your connection is not private or not secure on all browsers. Because this message or this page usually appears when opening some websites or while performing searches, the error message says, your connection is not private. If we look here, we will see written, not secure. Or it may also appear as, your connection is not secure. Or it might appear in another form. Your connection is not private. So let's go together and learn six methods to fix this issue permanently. You can try them one by one until you find the solution that works best for you. Before we start, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is set to all so you receive all tutorials. Method 1 This is one of the most important methods to fix the problem. You need to make sure your date and time are correct because all websites without exception synchronize the date and time before connecting. If the date or time is incorrect on your PC or mobile, this causes the issue to appear often, whether opening websites or performing searches. To fix the date and time, right-click on the clock icon in the taskbar, then choose Adjust Date and Time. From here, select Add Clocks for different time zones. A window will appear, and if you are using Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows XP, once you click Adjust Date and Time, this window will open directly, then click the date and time option. Now click change date and time. Set them correctly and when you finish, press OK, then OK, then apply. After that, reload the page or site that had the issue and you will see it working fine without problems. Method 2 A very easy method, simply by choosing proceed to to enter the website. But the problem here is that the connection is not encrypted, which means you should not enter sensitive data, like banking information or any important details. All you need to do is click on Advanced Settings, then click Proceed To. Once you click, the site will open normally. This is usually fine for sites like movie or series streaming. Method 3 one of the best and most effective solutions to fix this problem permanently is doing a reset and cleanup for your browser. The browser will automatically delete temporary files or extensions that may cause the error. It also resets the browser to its default settings. Click on the three dots at the top, then choose Settings. Next, select Advanced Settings, then click Reset and Cleanup. After that, select Restore Settings to their original defaults. Then click Reset Settings. After that, go to Clean Up Computer. This will delete harmful files or extensions installed in the browser that are causing the issue. Once you finish these two steps, reload the page or site, and you'll find it opens without problems, and the issue is solved. Method 4. Another easy and effective method is clearing history and cached files stored in the browser. Because these files take up memory, cache memory, and often cause this issue. Go to history by clicking the three dots, then select history, or you can press Ctrl plus H directly. Now click clear browsing data. Choose all time, and check all options. Then go to Advanced Settings. Again, choose All Time, and check all boxes except passwords. This way, the browser keeps your safe password so you won't lose login details for your sites. Click Clear Data. After finishing, reload the page, and you will see the issue is solved. Method 5. Another very effective method is disabling your antivirus program temporarily, because many times it causes this issue. Right-click the antivirus icon in the taskbar, then click Exit, or you may disable its shields temporarily. After closing or disabling it, try reloading the page or site that had the issue. Method 6. Disable VPN programs or extensions. 
because they constantly change your IP address which makes some websites not work properly. And sometimes shows another error like, this site can't be reached, so simply disable your VPN program or extension. For example, I have a VPN extension installed and running. I'll just click it and disconnect. It's better to completely disable it as well. Click here, then turn it off. And that's it. We have explained six of the most effective methods to fix the your connection is not private at the end. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share it. See you in the next video.